Hey guys, so I'm here and I'm doing a boudoir shoot. This is my first one in like one and a half years. Can you guys believe it? But uh, I have a model here and I just thought I would do some sort of like, show you guys kind of like how I pose my model. So here's a lesson for you guys. I didn't have a bed, so I made one on the floor and actually it's turning out really nice. Um, I'm gonna show you. These are trying really good. Yeah, no, I love it. Um, Those ones, like, your face will be my bird, won't it? These are the one. Um, these are good on you, but I really like the ones when you're laying forward. Mm. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are really good. Yeah, I like them a lot. Yeah, so I'll show you guys the photos later, but just to show you that you don't need a lot. Like, the space is, like, literally, like, super small. Um, but, yeah, so now we have her change into another outfit, and I'm going to have her do some four posing. So one of the things that I really like about boudoir is that you can be any shape and we can still make you look great you know so th that's why I hear most about when women come into the studio is they're scared like they're not gonna look good you know so the angles really really help with that too and posing obviously um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have you pose with your legs apart okay and I just want you to take your gown and kind of wrap it over your butt like so bring it all the way up there you go and then kind of Pull it down. Love that. That's good. So she's kind of wearing like a half teddy, half kind of vintage nightgown thing. Um, so we're just going to start it like this. I'll have you arch a lot. There you go. Perfect. Great. And just looking down over your shoulder. So once we kind of get these photos, and this is what they're looking like, I don't know if you can see them, then I'm going to have her be a little bit more sexy and we're going to sort of bring one um, shoulder down like that. Perfect. And then I'm going to have you kind of just um, lean towards this way a bit. Then I'm just going to get a different angle, just looking down. Perfect. Awesome. I'm looking at me here. So once you get this, you can have her do, you can have your model do the same pose, but turned away from you so you get more butt shots. So we'll just do that. So go ahead and turn your knees to the back. Turn it at an angle, so more of like, yeah, right there. Okay. And come forward a little bit. Oh, well, forward, like forward towards the window. <laughs> yeah. Cool. There you go. Now go ahead and sit. Good. Like that. And then this, this gives a little bit more of a butt shot, right? So you can do like silhouette or you can do just straight on or whatever. Great. And since... There's really nothing showing here and now i'm gonna have her bring her arms up so just bring it all yeah up and kind of like that perfect yes and then kind of now you can turn your your head a little bit so i can get a little bit more yeah beautiful can you do a little bit more off the shoulder wrap for me yeah like that that's better i like that okay good So at this point, what you want to do is you want to change your angle. So you got the back shot, now you kind of do this shot. So what I suggest is if you have a client that's really self-conscious about their tummy, you always want to do an angle kind of looking down with this pose because it shows off all the good assets without showing all the things they don't want. Um, same pose, but can you turn? Okay, like that. Cool. Now go back. So the only reason why I had her change is because we're working in such a small space. I'm trying to not get things in the background that I don't want. Okay, just chin up a little bit. Yes, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna do some laying down poses. So I'm gonna have you lay on your front, okay. same way that we did last time, except head here, feet that way. And that's the mistake most people make. They don't tell people to point your toes. You have to point your toes. 
Um, so this looks good this way, and it was only because I already had had her do this pose already. So one of the things I don't love about this pose, even though it shows off her chest really well, is just because she looks really squished. But you can always do this one and then change the position. Get the safe photo first. <laughs> Um, bring your butt up a lot. Yeah, I was like, wait. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Perfect. And now twist your butt towards me. Yes, that's good. Okay. All right. So now we're going to open her up a little bit more. So what we do is take this elbow and bring it back. Um, like that, and I'll kind of hold this, fold this arm in. No, sorry, the arm is closest to me. This arm? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then you take this arm and bring it back to the back of the head, like that. So this pose looks really great on her. And I'll tell you why this pose is really great. Because everybody who has skin will have folds, right? She's gonna have a fold, you can't see it, it's probably right here. If you do this elbow right here and you shoot this way, you're not gonna see it. So that's why I love like this, this pose a lot. Um, and then just bring a little bit more hair out in the front. Yeah, like that's good. Good, point those toes, beautiful. And now looking at me, gorgeous. So one of the things she does really well is she smiles in her photos. I don't know why people don't like to smile <laughs> in their photos. I think it's look good when you smile in your photos. So yeah. And now what you wanna do is just give me a twist, um, twist away from the camera first. Like that. Now bring the arm a little closer to your chest. Good. Point those toes. Good. Okay. So the pose that we didn't do last time was I. Um, I usually, if I'm on a bed, I usually have to bring their arms all the way out. Can you try that? Like that. And then you want to push your butt up a lot. There you go. Like that, that's good. So yeah. This is a hard pose. Yes. <laughs> so shoot fast. Beautiful. Look at me. Point those toes, okay? Yeah, I go. And now look down. Okay. And now we're gonna try kind of more laying on the back pose. So go ahead and lay on your back. Okay, you wanna come more towards the middle. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. Uh good. <laughs> okay, now cross your legs over. One leg over the other. I'm gonna have you scoot back like way more. Back that way? That way towards the window, yeah. <laughs> but push direction is back. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cross. Okay, so here's the problem with laying down. Um, the cleavage goes away. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what you wanna do to help that is just have the client bring their arms under them and squeeze in. There you go, now she has cleavage again. <laughs> okay. And then we'll just move some of these strings so they're not in the way. Okay, and then you want to turn. Turn your face this way. Okay, I'm going to bring your arms up. Or up your hair. Okay, I always like the hair to the side. Some clients, some people like to shoot their hair like out. I think that looks weird. <laughs> I like the hair to the side like this because it's like kind of leading lines to the face, kind of. Okay, like that. That's good. Okay. Okay, and then looking at me. And then close. So you always want to shoot one kind of to the floor like this, right? And then one kind of looking down. And I don't like it when people put their chin like directly in the middle of their chest. You see a lot of boudoir photos like that. I think it looks weird because then their chest and their face becomes like one. It's weird. But so like when she, when I have her turn like this, it, you can tell like there's a separation. So that's why I like it to shoot like this. So And 
And then now at this put angle, well, I'm gonna change my angle really quick just so I can get another perspective. Okay, now at this angle, what you can do is now have her separate your legs and then fold your legs down away from us, the other way, like that, good. Okay, now that's good. So now you can do it this angle. If you shoot this right, you can get a little bit more butt in there. So she'll have kind of like a nice butt shot. And then bring your chin up a little bit. Okay. Now pin. Okay. So at this point, you can now kind of change the position of the arms. I don't really suggest it because unless you don't want any cleavage in the shot, but yeah. Keep this arm up in the air. There you go. Perfect. All right. All right, I think we're done. Yeah, go ahead and go change. Um, huh, so the last thing I just wanted to mention about this was that, as you can tell, we did that shoot was like, what, 11 minutes. And you know how many poses we got? We got like six? Yeah, at least. Six poses, but the, that those six poses can be turned into several more photos because you end up getting a lot of different angles. So that's why you always have to walk around your client because you just never know what angle you're gonna get that looks really, really good. But yeah, this looks good. Can you guys see them? I don't know. Oh, that, oh yeah, that was the core. Hope that helps.